Mirror, mirror on the wall. Do we have for 2023 more secret layer drops? Uh, we have, we have, we have, we have. E and the here. Obviously we have another secret versary drop. Wizards of the Coast will never waste an opportunity to sell more single cards. Secret Versary 2023 will be available for pre-order till December 26th. You'll have ample time to be jolly. <laughs> but is it worth it to buy Secret Versary 2023? Intro please. First drop. Jurassic World Life Breaks Free, a particular drop featuring the five most iconic and popular dinosaurs in the franchise. The T-Rex, the Velociraptor, the Indominus Rex, the Spinosaurus and the Triceratops. Price, two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $49. The most valuable card in this dinosaur drop is Rivals of Ixalan Polyraptor, valued at around $36. Then we have Rampaging Ferrisidon, valued at around $6. The rest three cards, Etali Primal Storm, Regisaur Alpha and Wayward Swartooth have a combined value of around $7. Verdict, worth it? 75% in terms of value versus the price this drop is worth it you are paying $30 and getting back $50 worth in value plus don't forget the Jurassic World themed artwork no doubt how cool it will be to cast an Indominus Rex my advice it's not a bad drop I would add a copy to my collection second drop Jurassic World Dr. Ian Malcolm, a particular drop featuring one of the most beloved Jurassic World character, Ian Malcolm. Price, also here, two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $10. The most valuable two cards in this drop are Original Innistrad Laboratory Maniac, and Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, Tasha Hidges Laffer, both valued at around $4. The rest three cards, Atlapalani Nestender, Tassigar the Golden Fang, and a neck token have a combined value of around $2. Verdict, worth it 50%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is not worth it. You are paying $30 and getting back only $10 in value. But what really adds to the value of this drop is Ian Malcolm. Personally, after the dinosaurs, he is the most beloved character in the franchise. His shirtless scene in the first Jurassic Park film is an iconic scene as much as the T-Rex escape. <laughs> My advice, I would buy this drop only for the shirtless card. Third drop. Tales of the Time Stoppers, a particular drop featuring four cards related to magic way of manipulating time. Artwork by Mika Hugen. Price, the usual two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $28. The most valuable card in this timely drop is Corsa 2019 by a box promo Nexus of Fate. No one can forget its interaction with the fairy hero of Dominaria, valued at around $17. The rest three cards, Time Stop, Time Reversal, and Beacon of Tomorrows have a combined value of around $11. Verdict, worth it 60%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is nearly break even. You are paying $30 and getting back $28 in value. What really adds to the value of this drop, apart from the gorgeous artwork by Mika Hyojin, is the fact that this will be the first time that Nexus of Fate has a non-foil version. Being released as a buy a box promo, 
Nexus of Fate copies are all foil cards, therefore makes it difficult to play in sanctioned tournaments. My advice, I would buy the non-foil version. Have a feeling that Nexus of Fate can easily skyrocket. 4 drop Mikosint Wave, a particular drop featuring only 3 cards, 3 Mikosint related cards, price as per the previous drops, 2 versions, non foil 29.99, 34.99, foil version 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $48. The most valuable card in this drop is, without any doubt, 5th Dawn Mikosint Golem, that because it was never reprinted in a major set, holds a value of around $35. Then we have Mikosint Lettuce, that because it was banned in modern, it's only valued at around $12. Mikosin Wellspring, a common card from New Phyrexia, is value less than $1. Verdict, worth it 50%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is worth it. You are paying $30 and getting back $48 worth of value. But be aware of drops that their value is derived from only one card. In this case, Mikosin Golem. If Mikosin Golem will be reprinted in a future set, like what happened with Commander Masters, we will be screwed. Worse than being mana screwed. <laughs> My advice, even though it's tempting, I wouldn't buy this drop unless I need a copy of Mikosin Golem to add to my deck. Fifth drop through the wormhole, a particular drop featuring five Commander staple cards. Price, two versions, non-foil, $29.99, $34.99. Galaxy Foil, $49.99, $54.99. Content value, approximately $11. The most valuable card in this Commander targeting drop is Lightning Reefs, that even though it was reprinted multiple times, still holds a value of $5. The rest four cards, even though they are Commander staples and found in every Commander deck out there, like Soaring, because they were reprinted multiple times, have a combined value of only $6. Verdict, worth it 40%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is not worth it. You are paying $30, $50 for the Galaxy Foil and getting back only $11 worth of value. A special version of Soaring and Archive Signet can add to the value, but honestly, there are much better special versions of these two staple commander cards. My advice, in this case, I would save my money. Six drop, showcase the Lost Caverns of Ixan, a particular drop featuring five legendary creatures from the original Ixalan block. Price, usual two versions, non-foil $29.99, $34.99, foil version $39.99, $44.99. Content value, approximately $21. The most valuable card in this drop is Elenda the Dusk Rose, that even though reprinted in Double Masters 2022, still holds a value of around $10. Then we have Kumena Tyrant of Aratska. There was a time where this Merfolk was being traded for $30 plus. Nowadays, it's valued at around $8. The rest three cards, Vona Butcher of Magan, Admiral Beckett Brass, and Captain Leonard Storm have a combined value of around $3. Verdict, worth it 25%. Honestly, I'm not seeing anything special regarding this drop. It's just 5 legendary creatures from the original Ixalan block with the Lost Caverns of Ixalan showcase treatment. My advice, if you like the cards, why not go for them? Else, save your money. 7 drop, Paradise Frost. A particular drop featuring 5 full art snow covered basic lands with artwork by Elk64. Price, the usual two versions, non foil $29.99, $34.99, traditional foil $39.99, $44.99. Content value, approximately $40. Why a content value of around $40? Aren't these snow covered basic lands with a bulk value of $1 each? Yes. You are right, these are full art snow covered basic lands and you are lucky if you can sell them for $1. But surprisingly enough, Secret Lair snow covered lands 
have an average value of around $8 each, which sums up to a content value of $40. Verdict worth it 55%. If the trend is your friend and we take an average of $8 for each secret layer snow covered land, then this drop is worth it. Plus the gorgeous artwork by Elk64. My advice I would buy this drop for its gorgeous artwork. Eight and last drop, gift wrapped. A particular drop featuring five cards with new abstract artwork by Jesse Ledoux. Price, two versions, non-foil 29.99, 34.99, traditional foil 39.99, 44.99. Content value, approximately $24. The most valuable card in this drop is Homeware pot valued at around $11. Then we have Giver of Runes valued at around $10. The rest three cards, Cathartic Reunion, Distant Melody, and Moments Piece have a combined value of around $3. Verdict worth it 30%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is not worth it. You are paying $30 and getting back $24 worth of value. The artwork by Jesse Ledoux adds a bit to the value, but honestly, I'm not seeing anything special. My advice, I would save my money and buy better drops. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about these new secret layer drops? And as always, subscription button is here. Subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world. I'm out.